see how fast or the performance on the new update of iOS 11 on the iPhone 5s compared to an older iOS version so on this one here it has an older iOS which is iOS 8 so here I'm going to about and look at the version is 8.3 right here in here what we have is you know about so we have 11.0.2 and let's see how fast it is now from the screen itself you can see it looks like it's wide pretty much the same so opening up emails mail so this is iOS 11 you can see it come up a little bit slower uh, but after that once it's um, opened up already so when it loaded into the memory already then it should be a little bit faster let's open it again so now they both open at the same time so on the first opening of an app uh, the older iOS uh, seemed to launch faster but however after this one uh, locked the application into memory then they appear to open up at the same time as you can see here once more okay let's look at the camera okay so I'm just gonna launch the camera so I opened the camera previously so you can see this one again it loaded up uh, a little bit slowly so let's see if we open up again both so this time after it loaded into memory they are both open up at the same time uh, with the camera on the iOS 11 it's a little bit different here you can see the camera switch is at the corner, bottom corner, whereas on old iOS is at the top here. The flash uh, stay the same. It has a timer uh, at the top here on a newer version. So you can uh, set the timer there. Whereas the old one, uh, don't see the timer anywhere here. So there it is. Uh, it's actually up there at the top. So it's pretty much uh, similar with both of them. Okay, so I'll go home. Let's see if we launch uh, some other app such as uh, the browser. So the both open up. So if I go home, close that. So here is the Apple website. Let's try to load on both of them at the same time so this one load up straight away the other one a little slow so let's go down and up, up, open up a new page so I'll try to tap on both of them at the same time now you can see on the iOS 8 it kind of load a little bit faster oops this one come up first now where is this one now Okay, the the site uh, doesn't even show at all. So I'll go back. Let's see if we try to open up a different link. So let's tap on this one here. Oops. Okay, look like the site is not compatible with an older iOS. So this is iOS eight and uh, the page is not loading on this one here we just have a blank page so I'm just going to go back see what else can I can uh, tap on that is not broken let's go back to the home page so I just close that one close that one as well and let's just open up a different page instead let's open up Yahoo
to learn the web page a page a little bit faster on this side here on the iOS 11 so let me just open up another stories see which one open up first so on this particular page this one appears to load first but then it's not working correctly so f because this is, has an old uh, iOS so if you want to uh, have it work properly I think it's best if you're just going to upgrade anyway because you can, as you can see some websites not working correctly on older iOS okay let's uh, take a look at another thing uh, App Store, if we open up both this let's see if it both load up so this one here load up a little bit faster this one has a different uh, page so this is a newer um, App Store, this is running on older version of the App Stores ok so in general this one and this one seem to open up pretty much both at the same time uh, on certain app, this one can load up a little bit faster but once this one load the app, loaded the app into memory then they both uh, pretty much open up at the same time ok let's run this uh, speed performance uh, apps here uh, which I ran yesterday so I'm going to run the test again, test again and then we can see which ones will be faster yeah, it is just learning, testing uh, uh, a few things such as uh, graphics and memories and CPU speed now these are the two uh, same model iPhone 5s and iPhone 5s now this one here has an iOS 11 and this one here is running on iOS 8.3 So now it's doing off screen rendering. So it's running some more tests here. I think it is pretty much the both almost running at the same time. This one somehow appears to be running a bit uh, faster. Okay, so now I've finished testing the 3D graphics. Let's go and test into the RAM memory. The both seem to be running uh, the test at the same time here. So you can see both device, the percentage is running both at the same time. Sixty two percent now. Sixty five per cent. Seventy 
So at this point, it appears to be no big, big uh, difference in performance. So if you were to upgrade to iOS uh, 11, you shouldn't be really affected by, by the performance. Uh, there will be new features which you can make use of. Now as you can see previously, uh, running on old iOS, some website is not working properly uh, as the web uh, page render using newer uh, technologies on the latest uh, update whereas the old one, a uh, certain web page will not work properly. So I think it's safe to say that if you uh, can, then you should uh, update to the latest uh, iOS. Uh, that will uh, improve with uh, new features and also help uh, close up any uh, security issues that uh, they may have on the uh, older iOS. Ninety two percent now, ninety five. So there it is, ninety seven, three more percent to go, and that one appears to be finishing. So I just tap on not now. So you can see the scores, uh, they are very, very uh, close to each other. Uh, this one scoring at sixty one thousand seven hundred and sixty seven. This one running at 61,404. So even though this one is slightly a little bit uh, better, but you should really still update your iOS to the latest version uh, to uh, get rid of any security issues. As you can see it here, um, with the new iOS as well on 11, uh, you can see the control center is different. Now you have uh, more things packed in here. Uh, such as the screen brightness, you can control up and down uh, the light switch, which is the flashlight. Oh, this is sorry, this is the speakers or the sound. Uh, the flashlight is down here. So the flashlight and uh, what's this one here? The watch, the timer, uh, the stopwatch and the timer, the clock uh, stays the same at the bottom. So you have all that uh, clock functions, the torch. Uh, calculators and cameras all sit at the bottom however you uh, get a few more things up here uh, or we organize a few things so pretty much all the function stays the same it's just they organize it differently um, the lock screen still stays here so all the function stays the same uh, you, you pretty much have music player up here and here's the music player so it looks as though there are more functions, but actually it's the same thing, as you can see. So there's no big difference. It's just an update on the visual outlook. And on here, I see that on a new iOS, there's a file folder. Uh, you can tap on Browse. So if you download certain files or documents on your phone, you can uh, look for it in here. So you can look for files in your iCloud Drive. And that's it. Thanks uh, for watching this video. So if you're wondering if it's worth updating uh, to iOS 11 because you're worried that the performance will not be so good, then from this uh, experiment, and you can see in these videos, uh, they're both pretty much running uh, the speed at the same speed. And uh, if you want to upgrade, it's a good time to upgrade to uh, uh, improve features. You get a new improved features on your iPhone 5S. Thank you for watching this video.